yeah, that's not bad. Although they're going a little bit higher than usual, but whatever. Does that look like a root system to you? Hey guys, this is uh, T Gazza in Roblox Studio. I thought I'd give you an update on my long term project. I've been trying to work out a way of actually growing a stem kind of thing. This is what I've got so far. It's nowhere near perfect and it's a bit random at the moment, but whatever. <laughs> I'm slowly getting there, as you can see. Yeah, I've got, I think I've got it to about. Uh, 30 strands i'm thinking about rather than putting it up like that that could be roots going down where if i actually change this uh, so it actually looks like branches let's change that to i say 10. that's what randomizes the direction i'll show you show you exactly how i'm animating this if you look closely at the end of that strand you can see how I'm doing it. There we go. That's more like it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm moving a brick and then rotating the angle in which it looks at and then just kind of like how a plane works and it's just following the path kind of thing. Yeah, you can see the little individual bricks there. And then, no, oh, we've got a bit of a bug there. A size difference. I don't think that's uh, in real life, do you? Do you? I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, I'm slowly but surely getting there. Most of the time, that's uh, it's taken me this long. It's working out this code, working out how I'm going to do it. And just tonight, I had a brainwave. Why not just move a brick and randomize the direction? And then record the points at certain points. And that's what I've just done. All of that there is just, uh, just uh, picking the random segment once it first generates. It first of all generates from the default settings, which is from the base all the way up to the point. I think I've got about 100 of uh, segments. Yeah, 100 of segments. I thought about doing it with those bezel curves, but I just can't get on with those. I change one thing and uh, something else happens. Unexpected sort of thing. So I thought I want to get back to basics, and it, it's working beautifully almost. <laughs> yeah, so that's the crit. That's the brick I'm moving. It's called lead. Uh, did I put that in the workspace? Let's actually slow this down so we can actually see it generating. Um, what can I do? I can do that. All right, here we go. Here we go. So you can see that it's uh, moving and rotating at the same time. Let's actually speed it up a bit. Let's say 0.1. There we go. Now all I've got to work out now is working out how to uh, do grow the leaves. Yeah, I might change that a bit. I might even add some meshes in this as well. Because at the moment just using the D Roblox uh, default uh, cylinder brick. Yeah, I think that's working quite well. At the moment there's no uh, collision detection. I don't think it really needs that really. Just have to pick a shape unlike and then uh, just grow it. 
and I think I named these. Yeah, there we go. So I can actually uh, grow it organically if I need to. This is just creating the shape initially, and then when it comes to the actually animating it, I just uh, hide the whole thing and then just grow it as and when I need to while keeping these points. So that's the plan that I've got working out. Then I'm going to work out exactly how I'm going to do the leaves. At the moment, I have no idea how to do how to do that kind of thing. I might have to use a form or something. But anyway, that's basically how I'm coming along with my animation. Slowly but surely getting there. It's taking longer than I, than I expected <laughs> due to this little bit. Let's actually put that, make it go down. Um, let's have a look. What can I do to make it go down? Do, do, do. Mine's gone blank. <laughs> yeah, just coding it, uh, everything makes sense, and then when it comes to recording, your mind just goes blank sometimes. I hate that. Ah, yes, there we go. Right, that should go down now. There we go. So, if you like, that could be the roots. Let's actually make that a bit more wiggly. Let's say 50. There we go, we've got a root. Whee! We've got a loop. <laughs> Side strand. Yeah, I've got to change that. Roots don't come up above uh, ground, they get they go all the way down or very rarely they go up <clears throat> I should actually speed that right up uh, would help if I uh, can spell I can't spell tonight. Co-routine. How on earth do you spell that? <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, online help. My brain's just uh, all over the place tonight. And I spelled it right there. Thank you. Yeah, I can't type and uh, showcase at the same time. Right. There we go. Might make those a little bit more... a few more roots on there. Say 50. Yeah, that's not bad. Although they go in a little bit higher than usual, but whatever. Does that look like a root system to you? Maybe a little bit of changing here and there, but yeah. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, this has been Tigasa in Roblox Studio on my update on my, uh, I guess, a plant generator thing. And I catch you guys later. And hopefully soon I'll be able to finish this uh, this cinematic. Anyway, catch you catch you later, guys. <laughs>